guys and welcome to a brand new video. In this video we're actually going to do something pretty insane. We are going to solo Midnight Attack Raid using only one unit. If you are hyped for this video, please smash that like button. And if you want to see more Anime Adventures content, please consider subscribing. Now, what unit do we actually need? For this setup, we actually only need one unit. Kisoko Bendai with Unique. Let's equip him and as you can see, he is the only unit that we have. Let's head in the Midnight Attack Raid all by ourselves, still with only one unit. Let's go and see how easy it is to actually solo this stage with this one unit. It's kind of crazy. Wow. And here we are. So just to prove once again, I am all by myself and I only own one unit. So to place this unit down, we need to wave until wave three. So... Yeah, there is literally nothing we can do. We can we have to wait till wave 3. And these enemies are gonna go all the way around. The cool thing about Kisoko is that when you place him in the middle, uh, at the correct spot, you can actually hit this entire lane. Like, literally that entire lane. It's so insane, dude. So let's get him already for when we actually get the money. I'm gonna place him right here in this crevice, place, and uh, he does 2800 damage, and he is literally going to one-shot these guys, then he's gonna one-shot these guys, then he's gonna one-shot these guys, and in the meantime, we get enough cash to level him up, and then he does 7000 damage, 7000 damage at the, wow, that's insane, dude. Okay, so we are on wave four. Four, and we almost got enough money to upgrade him and the cool thing about this is that the moment you have enough money to upgrade him these little guys spawn which have a lot of HP but guess what that's not a problem because now he does 7000 damage Do you know what correction he does 10,000 damage at wave 5 so this is absolutely insane. This one unit can just solo this entire raid map. No need for friends. No need for a farm unit. I got no Speedwagon, no Bulma. It's absolutely insane. If you are in the position to get a Kisoko evolved with Unique, get it as soon as possible. It will make your life so easy. Actually, so so easy. Okay, and we got enough to level him up for his new attack. So this attack is kind of scary because he now attacks in a single line. So if your run is going to fail using a single unit, this is the time where it will fail. So you gotta pay a bit attention while you have the, the stroke as an attack. But as soon as you're back to your... Uh, third attack which is like another AOE you're all good again this is the only scary part because what can happen is that the units will walk over here and then you will only hit like three units at once and when they're coming from this way you actually hit like maybe 10 like 12 maybe a hundred units at once so be very mindful of that uh, in the worst case scenario you have to move her but uh, yeah, ju just keep that in mind. It it's all gonna be good anyway. So next upgrade, she's actually going to go back to AOE and then we're all good, all good. So right now it's just like we literally one shot everything that's, that's getting in our range. It's actually ridiculous. A unit should never be this OP in my opinion. And all the scary things are over because boom, we are back at AOE. And everything is going to be fine. We even do multi-hits. Which is absolutely insane. And if things get too scary for us. We can just upgrade our range. And our attack speed. And we're even more safe. At this point we basically won. I do recommend you know upgrading all the way to max. And after you're all the way to max. Yeah, it's getting pretty easy from there. And with that we finally got enough money. For the max upgrade, now all you gotta do is sit back, relax, you can read a book, you can watch a cool show, you can eat a bit of cheese, 
you can do whatever you want because right now you can take your hands off the keyboard relax and uh, just literally do whatever you automatically won this unit all by itself has uh, has like 60 plus thousand damage you will literally kill everything like even this dragon he might look a bit scary and yes he will take a bit long time to kill he probably dies around here like even him like we can easily defeat him it's all good all nice and uh, yeah let's go for the win guys let's go for the win so we have arrived at wave 19 and for those of you that are not aware even though i think most of you guys are wave 20 is where the final boss spawns once again uh, we didn't move kisoko he's just been doing his thing protecting his lane from all the enemies and uh, yeah i can't wait for uh, the big boss to show up it's uh, it's been really really nice it's been really really pleasant i've uh, I've been, you know, chatting on Discord a bit, you know, just not looking at the screen at all. It's, uh, it's been really, really nice. Uh, we almost finished wave 19 probably and then the big bad boss is going to spawn and we will absolutely obliterate him. The boss actually spawns some minions when he dies. Uh, those can be a bit scary kind of depends on where you defeat the boss if you are not confident i suggest you uh turning off auto skip but uh, we we are not gonna turn off auto skip let's move on to wave 20 a great threat approaches we are gonna turn on uh, you know the range just to kill this dragon a bit faster and there is the boss here he is he spawns a lot of units so hopefully our rng is with us today and he don't spawn too many big units but you know what it's all gonna be fine kisoko is gonna handle this the dragon is half of its hp really really nice it's gonna die pretty pretty soon and uh, yeah the boss is almost down already the boss is almost down already we're mostly hitting the dragon now the moment the dragon dies the boss is gonna take major damage like right now and um, bam 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 there he goes the boss is almost down almost defeated here we go here we go i think one or two more attacks will do it it's actually oh one more little attack and then he's gonna split into a lot of other things and boom big explosion and we got some more uh, clay creatures with of course two more dragons the only scary thing about the last part but once again for kisoto they are no problem and they will be easily easily destroyed okay the dragons only need a one more attack to be defeated there they go they're down wave complete and with that boom we won and because we used the treasure radar we're getting two stars very very nice yeah, it's as simple as that. The, the hardest part is getting unique, honestly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, guys, that is how one unit can beat the Midnight Attack Raid. This is absolutely crazy and it's unbelievable how strong, unique units are. If you want to see more crazy, shiny units, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please like and leave a comment how far you have gotten on solo raids. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!